was so funny. Hey, so today we were cruising up to go to Grangeville, Idaho, and we had a couple of days that we have, I guess you could say, off. So we thought we would kind of stop halfway in between. Little did we know we'd come across this town called McCall, Idaho, and it is, and even further did we not know, it's literally a resort town right on a, a, the most beautiful lake you've ever seen up in the mountains. We're 5,000 feet up uh, and this unbelievable mountain and like this whole beach. Look at this beach behind us. Look at that. Now we're just out here walking on the beach and watching this dog that is, a, I guess, a, a water dog, but... Well, he's a hound. What is it? Red tick hound and black lab, I think is what he said. And I think he's, I think he's about to drown. He's so funny. No, it's hilarious. <laughs> he's like jumping. Yeah. He's not really swimming. He's more jumping. Yeah. yeah so it's pretty cool to see. I'm going to see if I can get some slow-mo vision of it. <laughs> So today we kind of doing something crazy. We rented a paddle board. I know y'all don't <laughs> think that's crazy, but it's crazy to us. And uh, and we're gonna, it's one of those air inflatables because we think we might, if we like it, we might buy something similar to that. Might. Might, because it's good exercise <laughs> and, and you never know when you could use it for a lake. So we're gonna try it and see what we think about it. So get ready for the hilarity or it ensues. Go lesson number one: how to get up on them. No idea. Never. I have no idea how to do this. Okay. So my understanding is to just get up. I'm afraid if I get too close to this, I'm gonna hit my head on it. <laughs> Hold on. So, man, this thing is like riding the ball. Flip side to side.
Oh yeah. All right, let's go do the shallow one. Maybe I should have YouTube it. So far, this ain't all that much fun. It's probably because I'm stuck at it. <laughs> Alright, that's enough practice for today. We're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna try to get a different board. She says this one's wobbling too much. I'll try this again. I think I got this time. Job, you're great at that. <laughs> well, first of all, it's not as not nearly as hard as what I thought it was going to be. I thought that really use your core, which you do, but not to the degree that I thought you would. And it's just super easy. But it's not fun when you have a lot of waves. <laughs> so one of the things that Gail was saying that kind of was an interesting lesson, I guess, is that I was up getting coffee and iced coffee, and uh, as I was up there, she just decided to take the take this board and go out by herself. Well, when she started to go out there, she sees all these young kids out here with their own boards and own paddles and everything, and it kind of intimidated her a little bit, and she was like, you know, what if I fall? What if I, you know, what if I do it wrong? What if I make a fool out of myself or whatever? And she's like, you know what? Forget that. I have, I, I'm, I'm going to overcome this. And so she just got on her board, laid it out there all by herself, and stood up and started rowing. And when I walked out of the call with my coffee, my holy cow, she's out there all by herself in the water and standing up and rowing. So, you know, sometimes these little things like this in life can be kind of a... You have to overcome. Overcome. They're overcoming. And uh, it's just neat how God kind of just reveals himself and the little things. And, and, and no matter what we do, we can always be learning and overcoming and growing. So what we did, I don't, you, you probably can't tell in the video, but the, the, we actually changed rafts or boards because the first board we had was an inflatable and I was just too heavy for it. And it, Gail said it was like flexing in the middle and that's what was causing me to be imbalanced. I didn't really think she's right, but we tried it and tried a different board and she was 100% right. That thing is a whole lot wider and a whole lot more solid. 
So I don't know if that's a big deal to y'all, but it made a huge difference to me. Even when I get a little wobbly, I, I it's like very forgiving. So I think the solid is definitely the way to go, especially for big old boys like me. Here she comes. So one of the cool things of being at a lake 5,000 feet up in a mountain town with outdoorsy type people, they love coffee. And so right literally across the street from the beach, We just got back from a long day at the lake. It was fantastic. That's one of the coolest things I've done at a lake in a long time. And I highly recommend it to you if you get a chance to just, it was only 45 bucks for the day, for actually for half a day. And they actually gave us an extra hour and a half for free. And uh, so here we are back at the coach and I'm gonna, we got, we're gonna go to a concert here tonight. And uh, before we gotta go there, uh, I'm gonna cook a little fish on the grill. So this is what I, I found this um, really cool It's you know, it's one of those TV as seen on TV things and It's called Yoshi copper and it's for especially good for doing fish so That being said That's what we're doing tonight is fish, but here's the cool part. I, I caught this fish myself my wife and I in Florida and we we went deep sea fishing with some friends of ours Russell and Heather Smith and uh, they were so kind to take us out there that day and uh, so we caught this this is actually uh, snapper red snapper so i um, gonna cook this up and what is it like six months later what we did is we froze it in the freezer and gonna throwing it on the grill and then here's what's cool what we're gonna do is we're going to put it with mixed vegetables and uh, make it a fajita so we're gonna have a healthy fajita dinner with mixed vegetables and fish and uh, green verde sauce and uh, it's gonna have a great night and then we're gonna go do some music Excited to let you know that we got to stay another day. Unfortunately, the way that we were able to stay another day is I had a pretty major uh, mishap and hit the side of our uh, motorhome with my head <laughs> and bled, and it just made me to where I just didn't really want to drive. So we healed it all up, doctored it up, and got it going, and we're just going to go out today and relax with a kayak and uh, just enjoy this beautiful scenery one more day in McCall, Idaho.